What is true leadership? Welcome to the Summit Study Hall. I'm Dre, and that's what we'll look into for today's installment. We're all blessed to know someone or some team which needs a certain amount of guidance to achieve the vision they have for their specific mission. Through a few Bible verses, we'll explore some vital characteristics of every good leader, while trying to adapt ourselves to becoming the best leaders we can each possibly be. So we're going to jump right into it with our very first verse, which comes from Proverbs eleven fourteen. Without wise leadership, a nation falls. There is safety in having many advisors. The answer is being humble. We are humble when we ask others for their opinions and when we can take those opinions and merge them with our current situations. It shows the world that we're not too proud to ask for help of those around us. This verse points out that there is safety in numbers, especially when talking about people in a position of influence. In practical terms, we should all listen to the advice of our loved ones and those who genuinely desire for us to be happy. Close friends, family, and anyone else who's invested in our destinies should be heard and we should all be humble enough to heed their words. Verse number two, Romans 12, eight. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. So our second answer is being mature. This verse clearly points out that we should take the gift of leadership seriously. That requires maturity on our part, and nothing truly matures us like added responsibility. When we know that we hold in our hands the ability to bring out the best in someone, oftentimes something that they didn't even know they had within themselves to begin with, we can be sure that we're going to be held to a higher standard of responsibility. This includes being mature enough to know when to give advice and when to take it, as we just pointed out in our last answer. Being humble takes maturity and vice versa. We should also perform our God-given gifts with gladness. We shouldn't be bogged down by worry or fret about what tomorrow may bring. We should just continue on our paths of leadership and know that we're making a difference in not only others' lives, but our own as well. Verse number three, 2 Chronicles 27, 6. King Jotham became powerful because he was careful to live in obedience to the Lord his God. The answer is being obedient. Being mature also requires obedience. When we can take God's teachings and hold them as our standard for living and leading, we can be sure that they'll bring about great wisdom with them which is vital when speaking about leadership. Being obedient also shows God that we're ready for the next stage of responsibility and that we can follow his commands, no matter which level we're currently on or which we still have yet to reach. Verse number four, Acts twenty twenty-eight. So guard yourselves and God's people. Feed and shepherd God's flock. His church purchased with his own blood, over which the Holy Spirit has appointed you as leaders. The answer is being 
Compassionate. Being compassionate is incredibly important to garnering respect and achieving success. When we show others that we're invested in their personal stories, feelings, and opinions, we are showing that we can put others above ourselves and that we want what's best for everyone individually. When there is a certain amount of love and respect radiating through every level of a team, we can be sure that it'll achieve its intended vision. That's because each member will care about the next and so on, forming a type of familial energy throughout the organization. When we care about others, we want them to have success. Their success will be our success, and our success will be for God's glory. Verse number five, Numbers 27 17. Give them someone who will guide them wherever they go and will lead them into battle. So the community of the Lord will not be like sheep without a shepherd. The last answer is being loyal. Finally, nobody can fault someone for being too loyal or too honest. This verse points out that when we find ourselves in any position of leadership, we should guide our teams no matter where they go or which direction the vision takes, even if it means heading into spiritual, mental, or emotional battle. The community of the Lord will always have its ultimate leader, Jesus Christ, but through him, There are specific tasks and jobs delegated to other spiritual leaders who bring about God's own vision in our world. When we're loyal to God, first and foremost, we'll be able to have the strength, wisdom, and love needed to remain loyal to our families, friends, teams, and organizations. So let's run through these answers one more time. What is true leadership? Being humble, being mature, being obedient, being compassionate, and being loyal. And with that, we come to the end of another installment. I hope that today's topic inspires all of us to become better leaders and guide our individual teams toward the ultimate vision and blessing of being with and living in God's presence. My prayers, like always, are for God to bless us all, indeed. Until tomorrow, take care.